Okay, so one of my favorite frozen treats is an It's It. And this is a Californian ice cream. It's like an ice cream sandwich that has oatmeal, cookies with ice cream in the middle, and then it's covered in a chocolate. And it's delicious, I love it. You can get them here up here in Washington. I know that you can find them other places, at least on the West Coast. I don't know about elsewhere in the country. I'm a big fan. And today, because I've been feeling sick and mom's feeling bad for me, she actually found these little teeny itsits because normally they're, they're about like this big. And look how cute that is. They're little mini itsit. And they're wonderful. And so I'm gonna have one of these, even though maybe I probably shouldn't have any milk, but I'm gonna have one anyways, cause it'll make me feel better. And if you've never tried an It's It and you're ever on the West Coast, I highly recommend. These are one of the best ice cream sandwiches that I've ever had. Okay, so I am getting ready to go to sleep. I have been reading a little bit of Christmas every day. And so far this is set in the Scottish Highlands, which is a setting that I really enjoy. The main character comes from Edinburgh, and at the very beginning of this, there's like this prologue where she thinks she's going to get engaged to the owner of the company that she works for, who she's been secretly dating. And then we flash forward to her coming to this little dingy, like super, super dingy cottage that she can't even get into. And she's basically running away from all the things that have happened all the things that have gone wrong. And she wants to live this new life where she's really independent and she's really strong and takes care of herself. And right away, she's met with this challenge of this cottage that I guess was owned by her grandmother initially. And then her mom inherited it and then now she's getting it. It's half a cottage. like uh, It's like a duplex sort of thing where there is a guy who lives in the other one, which she didn't expect. She thought that one was abandoned and it turns out there's this guy named Mac that lives there. And they start off on the wrong foot you know um, she's trying to break into his house and he gets really mad and then she's trying to prove herself to be really independent so she just keeps snapping at him and they're basically starting with like this negative enemies probably to lovers first impression she's in this little teeny tiny small town she doesn't know what she's gonna do she needs to get a job and I haven't got very far yet I'm just basically at the point where she's still trying to get into this cottage and she's just gotten to the cottage and it sounds like uh, it's not in good shape because her first night she had to sleep in a shed and she woke up with rats surrounding her all over the place. And I guess there's probably rats and other things in this cottage that's been derelict for a very long time. So my guess is that Mac continuously helps her get things together with the cottage and she gets her life together and they end up falling in love, which sounds fun. Uh, we haven't hit any Christmassy things yet. There's definitely not got to the Christmas aspect of it yet. But it's so cute so far. And I'm liking the writing style. It's quick. It's snappy. It's fun. There's a bit of humor. It's the type of humor that I enjoy when it comes to these romances. And so far, I think it's going to be a fun one. I just am hoping that I have enough energy to want to read it in the next couple of days. It's actually pretty long. Like the audiobook was 10 hours long. And then when I looked at this, it said 422 pages. So it's not a short romance, but it's a romance still. So those usually tend to go a little faster, kind of like the Christmas sisters did. Even though I didn't get it done fast, when I actually read it, I read it a lot faster. So I'm getting to that time of the evening when I really am starting to feel icky. And my achiness from the fever is picking up. So I think I'm going to let you go. All right, what day is it now? Day 19. Day 19. <laughs> You'd be surprised, but I slept in this and I came right back. Impressive. <laughs> I'm so impressive. All right. What do I get? What do I get? Oh, you're going to get, get a get challenge, get. too. Mm -hmm. My book. My book, everyone. What book is Focus. it? Focus. Focus. She wanted a gigantic book. Five. I didn't want to get five. Uh, I did. Oh my god! Look at that hefty book. So you're gonna have to share the with us. I don't know. We go. We go to the casino now. <laughs> <laughs> I got five. You that got five. So that's so, that's awesome. so cool. That's your birthday gift. Yeah. Do you know what this is? I do. Oh. She wanted it too. I didn't. It was too big. <laughs> Dear, my goodness. It oh, is two books. It's two oh. books. For the price of two books. All right. Oh, those are the ones everybody's talking Whoa. about. Oh, my God. I, I 
I got the Costco. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, look at the wing and look at the other one. Look at how cool. turned it. Yep, they've got the beautiful black the red edges. Look at the one underneath. <gasps> oh, my oh my God. Oh my God. This is awesome. Look at it, look at it, look at it. That's all everybody's talking about. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it all happened so well and I wanted it so much. <laughs> you were so supposed to get oh, five wanted, on your birthday. Oh, I want this so 11. good. <laughs> How exciting. I can't. All right, my prompt. What is your prompt for day 19? Soupy. <laughs> Soupy. What? Soupy. Soupy. Super cheesy Christmas movie night. Oh. How fun. That's perfect considering. Super cheesy. COVID. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> movie real. night. All right, so we'll have to pick something. Maybe off the Hallmark Channel. Yes. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. And they're what, nineteen? Oh yeah. Nineteen forty nine mm -hmm. and seventeen ninety nine. This was the forty do, or something do, combined, do, yeah. Do, do, do. Oh, I got the big one. Yeah, well you no, got I think the there was one. one that was more, but I'm not positive. Oh, I'm so excited I got it. That's so exciting. That was yeah, that wasn't the highest, but that was close. Wow, mm. nice. Okay. You number get, nineteen. Let's see what book I got. Can't wait, can't wait. <laughs> 35. 35. 35. It's my book. Oh, little Yay. one. Yay. The little one, the little soft cover. Oh, I like it. Look at that itty bitty book. The little tiny, tiny book. Let's see if Amy can guess this with one tear. One little tear. Where's the tears at? Teeny tiny. It looks familiar. I think I've seen somebody talk about this. Ooh. Oh, yes, I know that one. Jacqueline. No, that's not what you're thinking, I don't think. Oh, okay. Hey, is it? Is it? It's the first of the series. Ooh. It's mystery. Yeah. Oh, good. Maisie Dobb series. Woohoo! Oh, how many books were in the series? I don't know. Maisie Dobbs. By Jacqueline Winspear. It's a series I'd like to read. Well, and I think you'd enjoy that. Yeah, I, think I think you'd I enjoy will. that. I think it was a good one for you. Let's Yay. see. New York Times of the Year, the Agatha Christie Award. Hey, you finally I got a fantasy, and Mom <gasps> finally got a mystery. All right. Yay. Editing Amy here, and I just realized that we forgot to mention where this came from and how much it was. So this was from Henderson's Books. I got a lot of my books from that bookstore. It's a used bookstore here that's a really, it's, it's a wonderful bookstore. And I actually picked up a ton of books that day there. And so this one was $8.50. $8.50 from Henderson's. And I'm very excited about this one. I picked this one because I've heard, I've heard mixed things. Some people I know really have loved this, but then some people have not been so crazy about it. But I think it's a mystery that's set in the 1920s. And I think that's an era that I really enjoy. And I know mom loves these types of mysteries. So I think that she's going to be really happy with this choice. Let's see what number I got. Okay. 19... 29. 29. We're running out of numbers, aren't we? Ooh, few left. Ooh, it's, I wonder if that's Ooh. the big, big one. Oh, no. That might be the big, big one. Let's see. Is it heavy? Would they? Funny oh, if he has got the, the, the most expensive one. All right. 29. Let's see what it is. Can I guess? It is one tear. Tiny tear. Oh, tiny tear. I think it might be the big one. Ooh. Wow. It's big. Yes, it is. Yay. I got the big one. The $40 book. Ooh. The Book of the Witches. The Book of Witches. It's an anthology edited by Jonathan Strahan. It's got Linda D. Addison, C.L. Clark, Peter Jelly Clark, a name that I'm not going to try. <laughs> Amber Hairston, Millie Ho, Sadzi Ho, Sam, Kathleen Jennings, Cassandra Ka, Fonda Lee, Darcy Little Badger, Ken Liu. Let's see what other names I know on here. Garth Nix. I know Garth Nix. Today Thompson. So. The point is that this is a book of witches. Yeah. And 
it was stories actually and poems. yeah a whole bunch of stories and poems mm. and i'm really excited about it but Yay! yes this Yay! was the big one the 40 dollar one the anthology Anthology. it's such a beautiful book too let's it see it is gorgeous it's purple it's which purple. color yeah. Ooh. I think I broke the worst of my fever. I still have a, a bit of a fever, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Very, very congested today. And just overall, not feeling so good. But I am working on my day two vlog because I wanted to get it out sooner and then I got sick. And so, yay. I'm hoping to be able to get through this as much as possible today. It'd be nice if I could get it up tomorrow. So that's my goal. And then as far as reading goes, I haven't made it very far yet in the book, but I did read a little bit last night. I got like nine hours of sleep last night, which was really good. I haven't slept that long in months, so I needed it. And then I would like to tackle a bit of the puzzle today because we're way behind on our advent calendar puzzle. Way behind. We can start getting behind that even before I start getting sick. So we've got to catch up on that. I am just going to do as little as possible because I'm still feeling awful. Oh, but remember that plant that I got from my secret snowflake at school? It's starting to open. These are paper white narcissus, right? But look, it's starting to open. So that's pretty. That's nice. And there's actually another bud here that's getting close to opening. I gotta eventually go through all my geraniums that I brought into the house and start cleaning off the dead leaves on them because they definitely went through a period where they were not happy being inside, but they would have been even more unhappy outside. So they tend to go through these fluctuations when I have to bring them inside, take them outside, bring them inside. And it'd be nice if I had a greenhouse, but I don't. So I've gotta clean those up at some point. Will that happen today? Probably not. I'm just not feeling so great. Okay, evening update. I haven't got as much accomplished as I had hoped to today. I mean, I know that I said I was gonna take it easy, but like I wanted to do more editing on my video. I did, I didn't get it done. I was hoping to get that video up tomorrow. It's just not gonna happen. And I wanted to get more read on my book. And I did get some more read on my book, but I didn't get as much as I had hoped for because they gave me some medicine to help alleviate the COVID symptoms because I had this cough that's been ongoing for how long and they didn't want COVID to affect my lungs substantially. So I've been taking this medicine and it is making me incredibly nauseous. And today was actually the worst. I was so nauseous for a couple of hours and I was basically laying here just deep breathing, hoping I don't throw up and I'm feeling better now. Definitely not gonna take the medicine anymore because it's just, I think I'd rather have the fever and the body aches than feel that nauseous. It was really, really awful. So that's what I spent a good portion of my day doing, just feeling sick. And then as far as this story goes, I'm having some problems with it. For one, it feels like it could use some heavy duty editing and not just editing for the writing, but also editing grammatically because there are some really big grammatical errors in here. And I don't mean like, oh, there's a couple words here and there that are misspelled. There's just like sections where there's a lot of words that are wrong. And you're like, well, luckily I can figure out what's supposed to be there. And so it just feels like, did anybody read this before they published it? And I don't know if this is just the Everand copy, like what they made available to Everand, but if you actually got the copy from a library or something like that, it would be different. I have no clue. And then the writing itself, there's just so much that feels like it could be taken out, some irrelevant stuff, and then just overwritten. You know, there's just sections where you're like, I don't know. It just doesn't necessarily need to be there, and so that's making it a little difficult to get excited about this like there's aspects of it that are fun but I'm not crazy about the main character and just the fact that some of our main characters inner thoughts and stuff are just way overdone or just random stuff is thrown in there to get you to thinking about different aspects of her that you're like well does that matter for what we're thinking about right now does that matter for this conversation it just feels odd and disjointed and then and this is gonna sound a little strange but our main character feels like she was born yesterday <laughs> that she grew up she's lived her whole life before this book in a box and has never experienced anything or like she was brought from a different planet and has to figure out how to live on earth <laughs> having never lived here before i don't know it just seems like 
she gets surprised by three things or is questioning or doesn't know how to do things that seem, if not simple or basic, are just things where I'm sure she's read books about this before or she's maybe watched movies about this. I know that she lived a fairly isolated life in college because she was trying to live up to a standard that her sister had set. But what about the rest of her life? It just feels like the author created this character for this book alone and her past... <sighs> not that they're not talking about the past because she talks about the past a little bit, but it almost feels like the past doesn't actually reflect how this character is today. I don't know how to explain that in a way that makes more sense. It's not all bad though, and I am hoping that I just get into it more as we get to hopefully the Christmassy parts, because there's nothing Christmassy yet, and I'm at least 20% into this. Okay, so we are getting a little bit more of her childhood and understanding why to me, it feels like she was just plopped in the story and has no history, no background, nothing about her that makes her very socially aware or even personally aware. And so at least we're getting a little bit of the background, so I'm understanding a little more why she behaves the way she does. All that being said, though, I still don't really care for this book. I'm not loving the characters. I'm not really loving the story at this point. Oftentimes her interactions with other characters, especially the male character who's the love interest, are just cringy. There's a lot of cringy stuff in this one. I don't know if it's the writing or the way these characters are written, but I'm not loving it. I'm reading it. I'm getting through it, but that's mostly because I want to get through it for this challenge. I think if I was reading this at any other time, I might just put it down and not pick it back up again. I might DNF it because I feel like I could be reading other books that I would enjoy more. Okay, so we are gonna puzzle some, and we're on day 11, and it is now the 20th. <laughs> so good luck to us. Look who wants to puzzle too. You wanna puzzle? What's on your shirt? It's dirty. Oh, probably probably dog CC. Jumping. Yeah, I was gonna say the jo dog jumping on me. You want, a, you want a puzzle? You gonna help us? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, day 11 is done. That was quick. How do you feel, Mom? <gasps> we're getting there. Woohoo! It's gonna be big. Yeah, it is. Now we're gonna have to make room. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it looks without the glare. Okay, we're gonna do two. We're gonna do 11 and 12. Let's go. Day 12 and we've got a cute squirrel. Just please give me some, sir. Please, I would love some. All right, there we go. Day 12, I think that's it for right now. We'll come back to it later. Okay, so it's the 20th of December, and please ignore the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt. I'm sick. <laughs> so, I have not been doing much, including changing my shirt. <laughs> oh, look! My flowers have opened. Look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. So these are paper white narcissus? Narcissus? And uh, like I said, I have another one coming up, but these are gorgeous. I'm loving this. And it's just really happy at a time when I need to feel a little happy. So still feeling awful, don't have the fever and stuff, but now I've got a new fun symptom. Have you ever had restless leg syndrome where your nerve endings get all like, um, it's like a buzzing tingliness. Everything feels that way, my hands especially. Uh, I've just got this buzzing all about me and last night my eyes both eyes were twitching 
because of my nerve endings just going <laughs> so that's fun and the congestion is is extreme today enjoying the various stages of covid and that's that so oh we were watching um a disney christmas special thing and it was really fun to watch and what we realized or what we think we realized is that we believe that my grandma named my mom after disney's two daughters because he had a daughter named diane he had a daughter named sharon mom's name is sharon diane and around the time that my mom was born my grandma would have been watching disney and it would have been a big part of pop culture at the time and his two daughters were a big inspiration for a lot of his work and he did include them in a lot of his tv specials so we genuinely believe that my grandma picked those names for disney's daughters and I think that's pretty cool. I wish she was around so we could ask her, but we don't have anybody else in our family with either of those names. So it's not like she got them as family names. And I'm just thinking about what my grandma's life would have been like at that time. And I believe that she probably got those names from Walt Disney. So that's kind of fascinating. And I've been chatting with my cousins cause we all have COVID at this point. <laughs> it's not the way to spend the holidays. I am just about to start editing day two vlog, we'll finish editing it. I'm almost done with my first edit, then I've gotta do my final edit, and then I'm gonna set it out so that tomorrow, or maybe even later on today, it comes up. I just wanna get that one done and out there. And then I've gotta read the book that I'm just not really enjoying that much, but I'm working through it. So, you know, I'm gonna keep working on that. And I was looking at reviews for it, and it got really high reviews. It doesn't have a ton of reviews, there's like 8,000 people have reviewed this, but I'm just kinda of surprised by it the fact that the average rating is 4.12 and I'm just not seeing it. Everybody's got different taste, right? So this just feels very, like you're throwing too many things at one book for me and very disjointed, a lot of changing of topics pretty rapidly or at least including things that don't need to be included. And I don't know, just not crazy about the characters even. Nothing about this is really feeling amazing to me and it could be that I'm sick so everything feels awful right now but I have a feeling it's just not my favorite book at the moment so I'm gonna keep working on that and hopefully get through it as quick as possible because I'm not enjoying it that much or maybe it'll turn around and I'll feel better about it for the next two-thirds all right what day is it now it is the 20th day 20, day 20. and I'm still wearing the same thing I wore on the 18th me and too. 19th <laughs> Yeah, just because we want to make sure we um, keep things consistent. Exactly. Consistency! <laughs> Consistency! Woohoo! So let's see. Oh, it's big. Ooh, Ooh, I got a big gift. Ooh. Oh. A big one. I think I know what it is. It almost feels like that, that game I got Amy. Oh. How do you know what it is? More farkle? I don't remember. Oh, this is from you! Oh! How does Jordan oh. know what it is? It's a cactus chapstick. It's a cactus. Oh, cute. Chapstick. That is. We don't want to see. Oh. Isn't that cute? It's chapstick. And I, so I, I you can put oh, it on that is so cute. Oh, I love them. Oh, there we go. How cute. Chapstick, cactus. chapstick is my thing. Oh, good. Mom I live chapstick. with chapstick. And this one's a cactus. Good. Let's see what I got. Ooh, 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 ooh. soap. <gasps> yes. That's soap too. Frosted sugar plum. Ah. Isn't that cute? Yeah, that is awesome. Shea butter, spa soap, sugar. Sugar we plums. didn't make our sugar plums, did we? We still have a chance. Oh, Ooh, it smells lovely. It smells mm -hmm. sugar plummy. Oh. It smells clean. Okay. It smells nice. Mm. All right, Jordan, you ready for day 20? I'm ready. Wow. I I'm can't ready, believe I'm we're ready. already at day 20. So you're going to pull the whole house out? I was thinking about it. There we go. <gasps> I got another big gift. Woo! Wow. Amy was lucky. She got to get bigger ones. Yeah, I'm sorry. I had to get. It's okay, the next side. year will be different. No, it was just been great. No, it's fun. Oh, I think I know. Is it lotion? Is. is it lotion? Is it lotion? <gasps> oh. Ooh, ooh. Oops, sorry. Oh. <gasps> Almond honey cookie. Perfect for your brand new purse. Oh my goodness! Goat milk hand cream. Oh. I love hand cream that fits inside <sighs> purses and bags and stuff. I love lotions. I've been Yay. needing some, and it does go in all my purses. <laughs> my little tiny purse. My lotions for the win. Oh, I'm so excited. Now I can both wash myself and look. Hey, we all got body stuff. You got lip stuff. I got soap stuff. I've also got to wash myself. Yes. 
And you, need a, you need a wash rag. No, that rag. was the other day, Mom. That if was day 18. Rag, what are these for? Mom, that was day 18. Yeah. We're on day number two, today's day 20. Day 20. <laughs> We've just been oh, sitting here with all of our prizes. <laughs> yeah. And Jordan got hand lotion. I got hand lotion and my sponge. And your sponge. Oh, body. That's other body stuff. What did I? Oh, I got chocolate. <laughs> I know. Yeah, let's look at that again. So that looks good. delicious. Uh, mm -hmm. You're lucky. 13. <laughs> well, it's 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, today on your camera, it's 13. That's right. Okay, we got an owl and more Christmas lights. It looks like the bottom of a branch. And yeah. some trees, top of the house. Is that a face or is that just a blob? Or a hat. Oh. I have no clue. Day 13. You want to do day 14? Yeah, let's do day 14. We're on a roll. We will catch up. We will catch up. Yeah, that one took a little longer because it was a lot of browns. And it's like a tree. Just the tree part. Yeah, it's part of the tree. The greater tree picture. Get there. Well, do you know what sick people love? They love when packages come in the mail. Goes like a book. Let's see if there's a. Did I order this? <gasps> Did there's no mm, there's no little paper in here. <laughs> I don't know who this is from. But I'm really excited. I've been wanting to read Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. This is actually one of my 45 before 45 books. And it just sounds like it's right up my alley. It sounds like the kind of book that I'm going to enjoy. And it sounds like it's a lot of fun. So I'm super excited about this. I really wish I knew who sent it. So I can say thank you. I can give you a proper thank you. I, I feel better. <laughs> I feel better all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's see what's in this next one. Maybe this will give me a hint as to who it's from. Maybe. It's... Mm. I already saw the top one. <laughs> okay. These ones have papers in them. Oh. Mm. Let's see. There should be another paper in here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. This is too kind. Okay. Merry Christmas. Your Advent videos are always such a delight. Thank you for sharing your holiday season with us from Leanna. Leanna, you are so wonderful. And this one says, Happy Holidays. I hope these books come in handy for the new year. P.S. I'm going to join the Bookstar Fund for the Greenbone Saga, which is exactly what's in here. I'm so excited. I have completed my set now. So I have Jade City and now I have Jade War and Jade Legacy. Look how thick that book is. Look how thick. <gasps> Look at these three books together. <laughs> I knew they got progressively bigger. I think two is bigger than one and three is definitely the largest. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And Leanna, I'm really, really happy that you're joining us. I know that sometimes with the series, they're either series people have already read or not interested in reading. And I'm glad you're joining us for this one because I really enjoy talking books with Leanna. And I'm so excited you're gonna be talking about these ones with us. What's strange about these notes is it says, this is one of three, two of three, and there's no three of three note. And I'm wondering, is this part of the three of three, Leanna? Did you send this to me as well? Or did somebody else send this to me? I really wanna know who this came from, but I'm also very excited. Thank you so much, Leanna, for Jade War and Jade Legacy. I cannot wait to read these books. I really, really hope that this series goes amazingly for Bookstara. I am, I'm feeling better all of a sudden. I, I think, I think I've, I've kicked COVID. I'm, I'm better. <laughs> I feel really spoiled and for some reason this year with my channel I just feel like I haven't put enough work into my channel and so um, getting love like this feels really great and I hope that I am sharing enough this year with you all because you're supporting me and I hope that you're enjoying my content and I'm gonna be getting these vlogs out. In fact, I'm just about finished with day two vlog. So that's a good thing. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. 
Okay, with all my excitement, I wore myself out a little bit. <laughs> I got a message back from Leanna and she did get me the Kings of the Wild. So incredibly generous. Thank you so much. I'm very, very excited about this one. I'm bummed that the note didn't come with it because I usually like to tape the notes in the books, but now I know who it's from so I can make myself a note and tape it in here. Thank you so much. Like incredibly kind, incredibly generous. And you know what? This is really made by day. COVID sucks, and I'm just glad that I got to open these wonderful packages today. Okay, so reading hasn't quite been a success today. I got my day two vlog almost completely up. It's finishing posting right now, and it'll be up tomorrow morning. My nausea levels this evening have been really high, so I am just trying to feel better, and... I'm going to read for a little bit, but if I fall asleep, that'll be a good thing. It'll help my stomach out. Okay, we're catching up on day 15. It's not day 15 today. <laughs> day today? 21. 20, 21st. Oh my goodness. Day 15 was this little section with another squirrel and part of a tree. Looks like a Christmas tree. And this little garland. Let's do another. Day 16. Ooh, okay. Make your stomach. My stomach's feeling all right. Let's do okay. day 16. Let's get through this. That one went really fast. Oh yeah, how cute. And then some bubbles. Another part of our tree. I'm only one, two, three, four, five days behind. We're doing good. We're finally catching up. We're gonna have to make room because we're running out of room. I got a Christmas card. Actually, I've been getting a few Christmas cards, but this one is from my dear friend, Sam, who's in the teaching program with me. And she actually does Vlogmas as well. She's not a booktuber, but she does like everything that's going on during the Christmas time. She has a lot of fun things going on. So I'm going to link her channel down below if you want to go watch some Vlogmas videos. And I will be catching up on those soon because I started watching them, but then I started getting sick. So I need to do some catching up. And right now I'm listening to Christmas Every Day on my iPad because I'm trying to get that done today since I haven't been enjoying it that much. And I haven't had much to say about it because... I've had a really hard time picking it up and, and getting to it. And plus, I've been sick, and I'm like, this vlog is going to be awful, where I'm just sick reading a book that I'm not enjoying. <laughs> but once I picked up the audiobook, that helped quite a bit. I've been doing some other stuff today while I've been listening to this. Not much. We did some more of the puzzle, as you saw. I put Candy Crush on my phone. I also started up Animal Crossing on my phone again. So I'm doing some playing on my phone while I'm listening to this. I don't know what to say about this book. It's just such a mess. It's so busy. I'm just not interested in the tropes in this, the romantic tropes, the friendship tropes are fun and there's some cute ideas in this, but there are so many ideas. This story has like 50 million different ideas and I just feel like it's incredibly disjointed. It doesn't have a very strong Christmas aspect to it. There are moments in this that are Christmassy, but it's not set during Christmas. And that's really not the focus of the story at all. So I'm trying to get through the audiobook tonight so I can get it done with and pick the next day of my advent calendar challenge, which is not a great way to spend this book. And I should have just DNF'd it, but I'm also trying not to DNF for these videos. So, I mean, it's okay enough that I'm able to listen to it while I'm doing other things. But let me tell you, I have gotten distracted so many times listening to this. I'm sorry I didn't give an update today. I have been doing a little better. My stomach has still been something I'm trying to figure out because that's been a big problem the last two days. COVID doesn't agree with me. We're just not having the best of times. And I apologize that this vlog is not going to be my best. Okay, so I have finished Christmas Every Day by Beth Morin, and I honestly don't know how to rate this one because I feel like I lost interest pretty early on, and I was reading it physically, had a really hard time continuing on with that. It does not help that it was on my phone because then it was very easy for me, like not having a physical book, to put my phone down or do something else and not get back to this one, especially because I wasn't enjoying it as much as I wanted to. And I feel like there's so many things about this book that were really messy the storyline is just 
very convoluted. <laughs> like everything that's going on in this is just way too much. It's just way too much. Too many side characters having way too many adventures of their own. Our main character has her hands in so many different things and it was too much. And for someone who loves a lot of detail and loves a lot of intricacy in stories, this was just way too much. Like it just made it really hard to focus on it. Ultimately, this just didn't work for me for whatever reason. And it's probably gonna work for other people, but it didn't work for me. And so because of that, I switched over to audiobooks. I thought, well, I gotta get through this book somehow. And since I'm not picking it up on my phone, even if I'm laying here not feeling good, I can be listening to it. And so that worked out, except that because the story wasn't my favorite, I found that there were times when I was having no problem ignoring what I was listening to and I kept losing parts of the book. If I were to go back and tell you every single part of the book, I probably could give you a general gist and I remember what happened, but I really wasn't focused on it. I didn't give it all my attention. And I think that that has a lot to do with where my brain is at right now, but also I just am not that interested in this book. So is it a me problem and a COVID problem or is it the book problem? I kind of think it might be the book. So I feel like I'm being unfair, but for me, it's probably going to be a two star because there were moments of this that I did enjoy. There were moments that I thought that was cute. That was sweet. I liked some of the characters. Like I can't say that I absolutely hated everything about this. So definitely a two star rating. And if you've loved this book or you've loved other books by Beth Moran, just know that it's probably me. It's probably me. And I think it's very true that there are some styles of writing that are going to hit for some people that are not going to hit for others. And there were some things in this that I didn't care for and I can get behind a slow burn romance, but in this case it was a little too slow burn or just there were just too many things that kept interfering with the romance aspect of this because it did end up being about the main character more so than the romance and I think I was wanting the romance or I was more interested in the romance in the story than the main character's journey. And I can move on to day number five. Finally, moving a little bit further on my advent calendar. And I'm hoping that this, well, mom's hoping for an activity. I'm just hoping that if it's me, if I'm the problem right now, that any reading I do after this isn't gonna be tainted by the fact that I am been sick and just maybe I'm not in the right headspace to read. I don't know. This would be telling. Like if I get a book and I love it, then it was probably the book. <laughs> I could feel better about my rating, my score for that and not feel so guilty about it. So for the fifth day, we have the line, let the Christmas spirit ring. And for that, the Christmas book is The Christmas Orphans Club by Becca Freeman, which is a book that I just bought. And I'm very excited about this one. I really believe this will be a Christmas book that I'm gonna love based off the synopsis. It just, it just seems like one that I will really enjoy. So even if I don't pick this today, I will pick this eventually, and I'll read this eventually, maybe next year for my advent calendar challenge. My other book option is the non-Christmas book, and that's Vicious Spirits by Kat Cho. And that's the second book in the Gumiho series. The first book was Wicked Fox, which I really enjoyed. So I'm very excited to continue on this series, and it would be nice at the end of 2023 to finish out another series. That would be pretty good. And then the activity is what I'm calling five golden rings. And this is for me to call five people that I haven't talked to in a while and just chat with them for a while, you know, get a chance for us to catch up a little bit. And I think this would be a great one because there are a lot of people in my life, especially people that I don't live close to anymore. You know, over time, you live far away from them. You don't talk to them quite as much. And this would be a great opportunity for me to do that, get caught up with people that I care about. So that's my activity. And considering I'm sick and can't go anywhere, calling somebody would be a pretty good option, especially because as you can tell, I'm starting to finally feel better. So, <sighs> We'll see what I'm gonna get. Am I gonna get the activity or am I gonna get one of the two books? I don't know. I kind of hope for the activity, honestly, because I think that would be a nice way to spend the next day or so. But if I do get the activity, I will open up the next one. So let's see. What's gonna happen for five? Who? Okay, okay, okay. What do we got? What do we got? Yes! Oh, I do got the activity! It's the activity! I summoned that, not summoned it. What did I do? <laughs> I summoned it. I I can't think right now. 
What is it called when you manifest? I manifested this one. So I get to call five people that I haven't caught up with in a long time. I think this is a great one. I'm very, very excited about that. I already have an idea of some of the people I need to call, my dad being one of them. <laughs> that means though that I have to pick day six because I need to have a book in the works also because I'm not gonna just do a vlog where I'm calling five people that probably won't be quite as interesting to you. Although I don't think much about my life right now since I'm stuck at home with COVID is very interesting at all. So um, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so for day number six, the line of the song is later we'll have some pumpkin pie. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie. And the holiday book for that is Later On Will Conspire by Courtney Kiesel. I think this is some kind of like heist. I don't know. There's the picture. It's a Kindle Unlimited book. It's a holiday book and it has the word later in it. So I figured that worked out really well. And then for my non-holiday book, it is seasonal, but it's not holiday-ish, is The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Laurie Gilmore. This is a book that's supposed to give Gilmore Girl vibes, which I think is perfect for this time of the year. Whether it's fall or winter, The Gilmore Girls is a great show to be watching around this time. And I've heard that this book really does have those kind of vibes. Finally, the activity is to make a holiday pie to share, which I don't think me sharing anything with anybody right now is a very good idea. So, I'll worry about that if I get it. I'm really not hoping for the activity on this one. <laughs> one of the books, one of the books. Okay, cross your fingers. What are we gonna get for number six? It's kind of fun to open two in one day. I feel like I'm making progress, you know? I feel like I'm getting a little bit further. Okay, number six is this one. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I was so afraid I was gonna have to make holiday pie to share and I don't think my neighbors want that. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. I have been hearing mixed things about it, but it was pretty popular when it first came out because of its Gilmore Girl vibes. And I really am looking for some comforting reads right now. So I have this on Everand. I'll be reading it or listening to it. I don't know what the options are. I'm really excited about that. So I've got my comfy book to read, Pumpkin Spice Cafe, and I've got a comfy activity to do, which is calling people that I care about and sending them my love. So that sounds like a really awesome next couple of days. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get through this book so that I can move forward onto day number seven. Let me know in the comment section down below if I'm completely wrong about Beth Moran and I just am having a really bad time of it at the moment, or let me know if you kind of, you know, have had a similar experience with her writing or if maybe it's just this book wasn't her best. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you've read The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore because like I've said, I've heard mixed things and I was so excited about this and then I started hearing some people not loving it so much. So I'd love to hear your thoughts and also, have you done anything this holiday season that's been really cozy because it can be a very stressful or in my case, not fun time of the year when you get sick? Have you done anything that's made you feel really relaxed and cozy? Maybe it's something you ate or drank. Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope this video was at least semi-entertaining and wasn't too depressing considering I was sick for the majority of it. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, just ignore that thumbs down sign. I don't need that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but do subscribe so you can see what happens on day five and six of the 12 Days of Christmas Carol Advent Calendar Challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye.